Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Grievance Debuff, Debuff Newscast. I am Creed. I will be your host tonight. Tonight, we'll give you updates on all the big news in the Grievance Organization, so stay tuned to hear about what's happening. Tonight with me are Chip, Steelheart, and August. I'm so glad you guys are here tonight. How are y'all tonight? Great. Glad awesome. to be here. Doing well, sir. That's very good. I'm glad that all of you are here with me tonight. It makes the job a lot easier. Uh, first off, we'll start with announcing that Thursday is Halloween. I doubt that there's going to be anything going on. Uh, there's going to be lots of trick-or-treaters and families having festivities. So whatever you may be doing, be very careful, be very safe. And I hope everyone has an outstanding Halloween this Thursday. Uh, this newscast is actually going to cover the last two weeks. Last week we took off because of the Open Council meeting. Uh, we'll be bringing you highlights from that meeting later on in the cast because we've had huge news here the week before and this week, and we're going to have lots of things coming up in the near future. Uh, with the news from the Guild, Clan, and Embassy news, we've got Chip to give us all that stuff. So, Chip, take it away. All right. Thank you, Mr. Creed. With Battlefield 4 starting, the game will launch on Tuesday, October 29th. For those of you who pre-purchased it, you can now preload it via Origin. So please go ahead and do that. I cannot tell you enough, guys. I mean, I've you've played these shooter games with me. I've played shooter games before. The servers love to go down just before, you know, it happens and y'all can't play. So go ahead and preload it now. Get it over with. As soon as that clock strikes 12, have fun with it. EverQuest 2. The Knights of the Dead Halloween event has been going on since the 15th of this month. There is a new expansion that is, you know, it's called the Tears of Vishan. Please forgive me if I totally murder that name. It went into beta on the 15th, and it'll launch on the 12th of November. It'll introduce new dragon-themed alternative advancements, and it'll also raise the advancement cap to 340. There are also going to be new recipes, a new trade skill quest, and a new Tier 4 guild hall. Come on now. It's a guild hangout. Have fun with it. Guild Wars 2. The Blood and Mandis has been going on, and the Guild Wars 2 Grievance Division has been getting in on the fun. Of course they are. Here's the recap of some of the events. The Bloody Prince emerges. And with Halloween drawing near and Magister Tossi, hopefully, uh, instruments are picking up some unusual energy readings. The Mad King isn't the only one breaking through the barrier. Prepare to face the son of Oswald Thorne, Bloody Prince Edric. The Mad Realm Doors, let's see... Haunted doors are appearing all over Krita, where brave travelers can dare to trick or treat. The Mad King's Labyrinth? Uh, the Bloody Prince has taken over part of the Mad King's Labyrinth. He's controlling the undead armies in that place, while his father retains command of plastic spiders, candy corn elements, and other festive frights. I don't know about you, but the candy corn frightens me more than the spiders. The Skeleton skeletal Lich, the Grand High Fist Viscount? Viscount, yes. Viscount of Candycorn and the Labyrinthine Horror await interlopers. Well, and let's move on to the Mad King's Clock Tower, where you can race against the Rising Madness in the Clock Tower. Puzzle game puzzles are always fun in that game. Uh, Tyria's most maddening jumping puzzle. Look at that. <laughs> can you make it on top in time? I honestly, I've done a jumping puzzle or two. It's fun. So have at it, guys. Lunatic Inquisition. Join in player versus player madness and mayhem with the Lunatic Inquisition, where you either play as a villager, desperate to survive, or a maniacal lunatic courtier. Discover survival tools and hidden secrets within the labyrinth and try to survive the night. Let's go ahead and move on to Sotor. Sotor's Republic Division has had a new surge in recruitment efforts. Great job, guys. They are now able to fill 16-man groups, or sometimes two 8-mans, consistently. They are always actively enjoying the new content. If you guys want to check out Sotor, go ahead and do that. It's a really cool game. It has its, uh, it has its ups and downs, of course, like any other game, but it's really fun. The Imperial Division has also had a similar stride in the new content. It's glad it's nice to see that everyone is competing with each other. Uh, both groups have cleared the new raid content on story mode on the 14th of October, with the Republic guys clearing it a mere two hours before the Imperial side. Congrats to both, and good luck with your upcoming progressions. Let's move on to Neverwinter. A big thank you to Molon for this fantastic job he did as the recruiting officer. And um, I know from personal experience, I've played with Molon in the Final Fantasy. It's really great to have him. And um, with that being said, we all of us 
All from Grievance would like to welcome Shadow Queen as the new recruiting officer of Neverwinter. Keep up the fantastic work you're doing. Uh, Tier 2 Tuesday has been slowed down because of a CN group that's going on that night. If anybody is willing, please go ahead and help out future guildies that are getting that gear. If you help a guildie, you help the entire organization. Um, the new expansion, which is coming soon, will see one new class and a new Paragon path existing or for each existing class. The new module is expected to at the end of the year, but no official word has been started. So let's, you know, it's vaporware essentially. So let's just, you know, keep keep on playing the game and it'll happen when it happens. Um, Tenab and Chance please, yeah, has been uh, balanced. Please go to the forum for Neverwinter and post support for the balancing of Tenebs on the Lemonade Stand post called Hounder Counter Tenebris. And forgive me ahead of time for butchering this name, Please check out Boudicca's second Foundry mission called Return of the Sl Return to Sloping Street. And last but certainly not least, let's go to Final Fantasy. Sinistra was made the co-recruiting officer for our for help with recruiting Oceanic players. Congratulations to her. She does a fantastic job. She's usually on in the morning. Makes for an entertaining lounge in the morning. If you guys are up at that time and y'all think nobody's up, it's really fun to talk up there. Um, Grievance has been taking steps towards downing the hardest content in the game. It's called the Binding Calls of Bahamut. We have two eight-man raid groups at the moment, with teams three and four being formed as soon as people's schedules you know, work out. Special notice goes to Team 1, which I will dub Team Pastrami, not their permanent name, it's just I've had Pastrami on the mind lately, for downing turns 1, 2, and 3, and is currently working on turn 4. The primal fight, Titan Hard Mode, has become a really fun fight for all of us here. It basically turned to form status, where now we're able to help our own members just get it done to get their relic weapon. Um, just yesterday, we had a group, an impromptu group, that just said, you know what, let's try to down Titan. And they formed up, and they got him down. So it's really great to see. The All Saints Wake event is going on right now. If you Feel free to play along. It has a cute little story to it. Enjoy the awesome costumes. The, also, the amazing music that happens in uh, the towns during 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. Eorgia time. And feel free to check out some of the outfits. It's really fun. That's me trying to scare one of our Grievance members. It didn't work out too well because they were so busy on that glowing red circle. Oh, so difficult to work with. Uh, some great content is coming up in Final Fantasy, guys. It really is. For example, the much-touted Lightning Returns Fate comes on the 14th of November, and a whole slew of additional content will be coming with Patch 2.1. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited for the Lightning Fate. That, that'll be so cool to play with. And server transfers have gone into effect. So if people have started other characters because you know they couldn't get on Midgard Sormer for the first week or so, the server transfers are happening now. They are going to come into effect on Tuesday, October 29th. So please go ahead and join us, guys. We are having so much fun on Final Fantasy. Thank you, Chip. It's always fun to hear all the news going on in the community. I just I just, I like hearing about everything that's going on in all the guilds and the people within them. Uh, as, and along with that, there's a lot of events going on in Grievance, too. We're involved in a ton of events. And... August is going to tell us about all those events that Grievance is involved with. August? Yeah, that's right. we got some really cool stuff coming up as organizational projects. Uh, number one, we have Extra Life, which is a really cool charity organization. Uh, we'll be participating in Extra Life this coming Saturday, November 2nd. Uh, we'll be doing a 25-hour stream. Uh, we'll have multiple guilds that take turns streaming in uh, three-hour blocks, so you don't have to, to worry about going the whole block. Uh, there's over one thousand dollars in pledges already, so that's great. It's uh, it's for the Children's Miracle Network, so it's really worth the the effort to come in and help. Uh, besides that, we've also got uh, a, a program near and dear to my heart. It's uh, Operation Supply Drop. We help provide uh, consoles and games to troops overseas. And I know when I was overseas, anything we got from home was just a real big help. So, so it's really worth anything you can do to help. We're also going to do a 24-hour gameathon for them, and uh, we'll be playing and streaming Battlefield 4. So uh, I'll, I'll definitely be in that because I'm looking forward to Battlefield 4 myself. Uh, members can help by donating consoles and games, or just logging into the Twitch channel to watch. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. After this year, uh, it'll be held every year on July 4th. So that's very appropriate. Um, just to keep you apprised of the, the schedule of our newscasts, 
Uh, coming up on Monday, we have Out of the Box with special guest Operation Supply Drop. And then on Tuesday, we have a brand new cast uh, with, with Fan Fanatic, which is a really cool cast. I enjoy that. With Jennifer Karras and her guest star, Eric Taylor. Uh, Wednesday, we have the EverQuest News with guest Geek Dummo. And we might actually schedule a Wildstar cast afterward, depending on what comes up during the week. Um, Thursday, uh, unless you're me, you probably have something to do because it's Halloween. So, happy Halloween. And then on Friday, we got Raffle Stop with Canon, uh, Whoop and Creed, which should be a real interesting show. Uh, it, it looks to be uh, interesting, to say the least. Uh, out of the box, it's already taken. So... Uh, <laughs> Saturday, we have the uh, Star Citizen Report, which is really cool because that game is going to be really awesome. And uh, it's a little ways off, but everything that comes out is so, so cool. I just can't wait to hear no more about it. And then on Sunday, as every Sunday, we're here with the Grievance News. Um, uh, another thing we're doing this year uh, is the conventions. Uh, we're going to Pensacon, which is a convention in Pensacola, Florida, that happens on February 21st through the 23rd. Um, we're going to go this year, and uh, we're going to promote everything that we're doing and see how that works. And we're hoping it's going to be really well received. And we're going to start uh, showing up at more conventions if we can if we can get people to show up and support our guild. We're gonna we're gonna do it, and we're really excited about it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, August. Uh, I, that's another thing I love hearing about is all the stuff that Grievance is involved with. Uh, huge, huge events going on. Uh, this coming year and, and hopefully years afterwards. Uh, the people who are uh, behind the scenes, the COG people, uh, they're, they're the main drive behind all this and, and they're an awesome group of people. If you're still on the fence about being in the community outreach group, then you definitely need to contact Steele. He will hook you right up. As many as you already know, over the past few years, COG has established himself as one of the most dynamic, dynamic divisions within the grievance organization. Uh, not, not only do they make a, a, a big appearance in the gaming community but to the industrial the whole industrial in general as well uh, we're very excited about the direction and momentum that that, that cog has done these days uh, but we still need a few more people uh, it seems like you just never have enough help uh, so if there's anybody out there that's interested in becoming a cog member contact steel and he will give you all the info to get you started uh, some of the things that that you can do being a COG member uh, is, is forum stalking. If you're a person that likes to, to surf forums and write on forums, and if you find yourself just kind of stagnant and, and you really don't know what to, to read or write about, hey, the COG could use you. Uh, they have a ton of forums that need to be constantly bumped. And if you just bump just a few forums a, a week, uh, that, just, that just makes a huge difference on getting the grievance word out. Uh, being a cast member, being a debuff cast member, what we're doing right now, being on camera and delivering all the news and, and just what you, you see all the crazy stuff we do every night of the week. So if you're <laughs> interested in being a cast member and being on camera and expressing yourself and, and just acting crazy sometimes, then we can certainly use you. Again, contact Steel Hard if you want to be a cast member. We're looking for, we're looking for two people. So, uh, and Chip is certainly going to earn our crazy <laughs> Uh, researching, researching another, it's, it's, I guess, uh, for some people, it's probably an easy job. I, uh, researching is something I probably wouldn't be very good at. But if you like to research, if you like to be given something and, and, and go on the Internet and dig up all the information you can about a certain thing, then, then they certainly, COG is certainly looking for you. Uh, it's, research is probably the most important thing because that's what we use to, to do all this, what we're doing. If it weren't for the researchers, we wouldn't have anything. So if you like the research, again, contact Steele. He will put you right in it. And the conventions. Uh, you heard we're going to have a lot of conventions. Uh, there's going to be booths set up at several conventions this coming, you know, ne next year and on. So, And the COG members are going to get the first crack at being at these conventions and, and being, you know, to, to be hanging out with all the people and everything. So exciting stuff. Uh, just, just contact Steelheart. You know, if you're interested in any of that stuff, contact him and uh, he'll get you he'll get you going. Uh, as a final reminder, uh, there will be another open council meeting on November 17th. Everyone's invited. I urge you to come to the open council meeting 
uh, you can hear about how grievance works on the backside and and just hear about everything how the guilds are doing and and everything and it's real interesting stuff i love going to the open council meetings uh finally we have something or we have more news on the 2014 get together and uh, mm. steel is going to tell us about that steel take it away buddy all right thanks creed man uh, before i start on the get gun i know y'all are waiting for this drawing and unfortunately we only have five rooms and six people who put in for them but before we get going on with that i was talking to mike cash liberto the other night after the cast and they have a very similar community as ours a little bit smaller but same same beliefs that we do and we were talking about some of the projects we have going on and what have you and he really gave me a great idea one of the things he told me about was he asked the community what would you like to see the guild do what what would you like to contribute how would you like to contribute what a great idea so i put a post in the forums and if you get a chance if you're curious enough stop in and basically the question is what direction would you like to see grievance going in in addition not other than in addition to where we're going right now what what projects would you like to see us take on do you have projects of your own that you would like Grievance to help you complete, achieve, or, or just help you with? You know, this, this, is, this is all part of the, the paying it back to the community. So if you've got stuff that, that you've got on the plate and it's semi-game oriented, get up with us. If you're a tailor or whatever, you know, in real life and, and you want us to showcase your wares, get up with us. You know, you got a project, you said, oh, man, this is a great project, but but I've got limited knowledge. Get up with us. Or if you got a talent of some sort that you want us to look into, get up with us. There's a post on the forums. It's in the news and announcements section. Basically, this is our way of giving back to y'all. So if you got some ideas, post them in that forum. If you're a little bit shy, and some people are when it comes to ideas, PM me on the forums. All right. Now. What we've been waiting for, 2014 real life get together drawing for the beach houses. Those of you that went last year, it was banging. We had the time of our lives. This year is going to blow. Well, next year is going to blow this year out of the water. It's last or in June this year, we had 50 people. Next year, we're looking at 75 to 100. That being said, we have five exclusive rooms available. We had six people put in for them. So we are going to do a drawing. I have in my hand six names. I have in my other hand a really big pretzel box. So I'll show these to the camera as I put them in. See, empty box. Naonia. Cannon. Lord Scythe. Vane, Night Angel, and Kukos. Good, the box is good shake. A little bit more shake, and a little bit more. I'm not going to shake it like Trip Chip because I, I just won't end up coming back. All right. <laughs> so now don't go nowhere. We have another announcement. First name: Night Angel. You have a room. Woot. Congrats. Second name. Yvain. You have a room. Woot. Woot. Third name. Naonia. You have a room. Right on, right on, guys. Next name. Cannon. You have a room. Way to go, Cannon. We have two more, I believe. Lord Scythe, you have a room. Ah, you know, we're not heartless. We actually have enough. We're going to chance it. We need one more person between now and May. So, Kukos and Caitlin, you have a room. We're going to fill a third beach house. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> right. So, here's what we're going to do. We've got one room in the big house we're going to convert to a shared room or one of the beach houses because we had an interest for a shared room. 
So we have room for one more in a shared room. And we have one more exclusive room available in another beach house. We'll be renting a third beach house. So if somebody is interested, this is going to be first come, first serve. If you pony up and you say, hey, I want this room, and you are the first one to post on the forums, it's got to be a post on the forums. Don't email me because I won't get it in time. You post on the forums, you want that last exclusive room, and you're the first one, it's yours. First come, first serve for the last room between now and May. Don't wait too long because it will go. All right, Creed. That's All incredible. Yours. That's incredible, Steel. Thanks for that. Uh, sure, everyone's happy about the rooms they've already received and, uh, and look forward to seeing who gets the rest of those rooms. We're going to wrap this up. Uh, I want to thank everyone that was here tonight in the chat room, grievance members, or just a visitor. Thank you very much for looking at our video cast tonight. We enjoy doing this. Uh, all you guys here on the vidcast with me, Chip, August, and Steele, thank you. Uh, we're going to say good night to everyone uh, from here or from us at the vidcast and everyone at the Grievance Guild community. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. <laughs>